Hey there, welcome. This is Leo. And if you are a small business owner here in the Solano County area and have been wondering or asking yourself how to manage your online business reviews, right, in popular websites like Yelp or Facebook or even Google, right? How do I get my business to show up on Google? Then stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and cover these three today uh, in these videos. And then at the end of the video, I have um, a special bonus for you. So don't go away. Um, if you if this is something obviously that you're not interested in, please do by all means, right? Your time is valuable. Go ahead and um, continue watching something else. But if you are interested in this topic, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So um, Google My Business. Uh, before I get started, real quick, my name is Leo, right? I have a small company called, called Digital Track, and uh, we help and we work with small businesses here in Solano County to help them increase their online exposure so that more customers are able to find them. Right, especially those that don't have any online exposure at all, or they just have a hard time managing everything um, that they have going on online because obviously they have plenty to do um, offline serving their clients. So let's go ahead and get started. So maybe first let's go with Google, right? You're probably asking yourself, Leo, how do I add my business into Google, right? So first thing you gotta do is you gotta type in Google My Business, right? And then um, what you'll do is you can, if you don't, if you already have a Gmail account, you can use that. Or if your business have a, an account that is associated with Google, uh, you can use that to sign in, right? Um, if you do not have one, you're probably going to create a Google account first. And then what you're going to do is going to ask you for the name of your business. And so once you do that, the name of your business, let me but track real quick first, right? So perhaps you want to do something first. Perhaps you want to do, uh, want to type search the business name of your business, right? You may want to type in the business name plus the city where you locate it to see if there's already a listing. Let's use this as an example, right? This uh, local restaurant here in Vacaville. Um, as you can see, they already have a Google listing because this is the Google. Uh, page so to speak and so let's let so we don't need to create a new one because they already have a, an existing one so what you do is you type in your name here and google will let you know if if this already exists or if it doesn't exist it's going to give you the option to create a new listing all right so and then you go through that process um if it already exists it's going to ask you if you want to claim it right if nobody else claimed it um uh, it's going to ask you if you want to claim it, and it's going to ask you to go ahead and complete some information for you to claim your business. And you want to do that so you can manage right everything that is going on. Um, for example, let me show you here. Uh, let's go to uh, El Caracol in Vacaville, right? So you, this is all you have available to uh, be able to manage, right? You can post now, like just in social media, you can post and people can be aware uh, if they follow you on Google, can be aware what you got going on, what updates, right? What latest pictures of food you have going on, what latest offers, uh, what are some events you may have going on in town, right? And so um, definitely that's good to con take control of, um, especially if you are if you are um, doing not well in the word of mouth or your loyal clients, your, your traffic is very low, right? This is a way to increase your exposure online. You can also see you can control the uh, business address, your hours, right? Especially for the holidays, you want to keep your customers informed what holiday hours there is, different uh, website links, phone numbers. Um, so you definitely want to take control of um, your listings on Google because a lot of people definitely goes there as well to um, search for uh, products and services, right? You can also do uh, take control of photos. Uh, now you can do messaging. Um, uh, you can go ahead and respond to reviews and thank the people, the people that left review. You can thank them, which I will recommend you to do. Uh, you can see insight, which tells you information. Okay, you know what are the keywords that my business is coming up when they search when they when they uh, find my business, right? What are they using? Um, that's very helpful because that helps you as well. If you do any type of Google paid advertising, that helps you uh, understand what type of words you should be using um, to get even more customers to see you, okay? Then it tells you what type of traffic you're getting. It tells you um, 
how many people find you in the maps, how many people they find you on search. As you can see here, they're very even, so very important that you have your, um, how you show up on the map is very important and how you show up in the search results is very important. So there's a lot of information that is can help you to continue to increase your online exposure and see how your customers are finding you online, right? Because if something is already working, you got you want to understand what's working and continue um, continue to develop that process, right? If you know that you have a special plate, if you're a restaurant, if you know you have a product that sells like crazy or a special plate that, that sells like crazy, well, you simply don't want to take it away, right? Because otherwise, um, if you have nothing else that, um, otherwise your sales would drop off, would drop we drop dramatically probably, right? It depends how you sell it. So, so think of, I'm just doing an example, right? Just so that you can perhaps understand. So similar things apply here. If something is already working, how can you improve in what is working to make it work even better, okay? Um, so that's basically how you go through the process of uh, setting up the Google and, and claiming your Google listing. Uh, now, real quick about Yelp, right? A lot of people, a lot of businesses go here to Yelp. So you're probably asking yourself, well, I'm, I'm not a restaurant. Should I be on Yelp? Uh, well, now nowadays, uh, I will say, you know, because Yelp is so such a popular website, it has a lot of power in reference to um, uh being able to communicate to Google when somebody's looking for something and let Google know that, yes, that business also exists on Yelp. And so it influenced Google to, uh, on the search result, to um, kind of help you with the visibility of your business. Okay, so there's a lot of businesses that are not restaurants that are coming up on Yelp now because people, people understand how powerful Yelp is when it comes to uh, provide feedback back to Google um, to acknowledge that you business it's exist right um, so definitely don't disregard Yelp just because you are not a restaurant specifically but um, just to right just to give you a quick um, overview how you do that so you can either go to yelp.com and do a search for your business to make sure if to check if, if your business has already been created because people go in there and create um, pages for different businesses without you needing your permission. So keep that in mind. You may want to search first, see if somebody already created a, a page for your business. Okay. These two over here, you can see those are advertising. People show, uh, pay to come up um, first and I'm, if I'm looking for something. Okay. That's something that uh, Yelp offers. And so here's the list. And so, okay, because this already exists, I'm not going to go and try to create another one, right? Uh, what's going to happen is probably if, if nobody has claimed this, it's going to give you an option to claim it, right? If you want to claim it. And so then you go to the process of answering some questions from Yelp. Now, if it says that already been claimed, uh, you may want to call Yelp. Um, to assist you now these are going to be salespeople, so they're also going to try so it's in the best interest to help you to uh, make sure that you are the actual owner you want to take control of your um, page because at the same time they can then uh, they can then you know offer you help with other products that they have in services like advertising okay so it's in the best interest there for them to help you um, but it's very simple to to get started if you already if 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 you um, go through the process of completing all the information like I'm gonna show you here real quick it's important to um, create your page because at the same just like I show you with Google you want to make sure that people has the accurate information about your business you don't want to have your competitors or uh, somebody that don't like your business messing up your information and perhaps confusing actual customers by pro providing the wrong phone number or the wrong website and sending people somewhere else, right? That's definitely creates a bad experience for customers. Your your hours also, right? You want to make sure your hours are good. Your special hours, right? Your holidays hours coming up. You want to make sure those are accurate as well, right? Um, and then obviously, so that's why it's important as well to make sure that your Yelp information is, it's uh, um, you want to control that, okay? So um, this is part of the information that you are asked and then at the end of the day to claim it um, 
they, they're going to ask you if they can call or text your number to verify that's your business. Now with Google, it's um, different. The only way I've seen it, so I, cl I claim, you know, uh, about a dozen now of pages in Google. And the only thing that the only option that had come up for me is to send a postcard to that specific address. Right. So um, what's going to happen in order for Google to com to verify that um, that I'm you know, that, that, that business exists, um, what it does is basically sends a little uh, postcard with the code in it. And so it sends it to whatever address you put in the system that your business is located. If you are a home address, a uh, home-based business, uh, what's going to happen is um, you have the option to tell Google that you provide services within an area. And so what's going to happen is you can... Um, um, you can tell Google not to show your address, but it needs your address to send you that postcard initially. Once you receive it, you get the code and then you can um, tell Google not to show your address or or you don't even have to wait for that, right? You can just tell it, look, this is my address, send me my postcard so I can activate my listing, uh, but don't show it to the public, right? Instead, show to the public the, the, the cities that I service or, or the county or the area, etc., right? That you service if, if you provide services. So I just wanna go back and talk about that with Yelp real quick again. Uh, what The way it's gonna verify you is gonna ask you to call your, your phone number, okay? But I already explained to you, oh, by the way, by to control Google, uh, you go to Google My Business, as I told you, right? You, you Google Google My Business, and then you either log in to control Yelp as a business owner, right? Because Yelp has the regular Yelp pages, but as a business owner, you may wanna Google Biz uh, Yelp, Anyway, the website is biz.yelp.com, okay? That's where you're gonna go um, to set up your account as a business owner and then to claim the business that you have. Um, and then you can see all the information that you need to complete. Now, Facebook, <clears throat> Facebook is another one you want to take control of, okay? Uh, because again, there's such a, you know, two, what, two billion daily users or two billion active user or two billion users total so you know there's definitely a lot of people that uses uh, um, uh, Facebook and Facebook business page is what Google picks up uh, in the search results the personal profile is not but anything that is in a business page it will pick it up so you definitely want to be you want definitely want to create a Facebook business page for example let me see if the Facebook business page of El Caracol show up on the search results so if I look at Caracol, right, Yelp is the first one, Zmato is this one, DoorDash, TripAdvisor, um, TripAdvisor, Zmato, uh, YouTube, 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 Visit Vacaville, Postmate, Local Yahoo, Mountain, TripAdvisor. So Facebook is not coming up here, but definitely is one of the uh, biggest one in town as well. So you definitely want to create a Facebook page. Um, Simply because, again, you know, it is one of those powerful um, pages that have a big presence, they have a lot of users, and um, why not take advantage that, uh, you know, the amount of people that are there um, in order for your customers to enjoy pictures of your food as well, right? Um, and so with Facebook, I don't know if you, if you never created a Facebook page, all you have to do is click this little triangle and go to create page and then go through the process, right? It's gonna ask you to uh, put the business name, um, what type of business you are, if you are a local business, a corporation, a organization, a, a brand, a person, I can't remember the, uh, the options, but um, very straightforward. Um, and then it's gonna ask you some more information, uh, but you wanna go to the about section. One other thing it's gonna ask you to is confirm the email as well. Um, but you want to go to the about section and complete as much as possible, right? You want to make sure your address is there. If you have a physical location, um, your phone number, same phone number that you place in on Yelp and Google, you want to have their same address, same email as well, right? Say put, put the same email, same website, um, and then complete all, any other information that could be useful to your clients, right? The, the history about your business, information about your business, uh, et cetera. You want to complete as much as possible. So I hope this helped you. Um, definitely take advantage of you know setting up profiles on these three platforms, and then depending on the type of industry you are in, you may want to consider other platforms. 
Um, one of the things you can do to see, okay, Leo, what are the best places for me to be listed? One of the things you can do is, for example, you can Google a uh, local restaurant that is very famous or you can, or, or not a local restaurant, but, you know, you can Google, for example, Applebee's, a chain restaurant, and see what places there are listed. Um, or even if you were like a real estate agent, right, go to a very, uh, um, very successful real estate agent or real estate agency and see what kind of places there are listed. Uh, other thing you can do is you can go to a website called um, whitespark.ca. So whitespark.ca. And then what you want to do is go to resources. And then what you can do is um, go to the best citation sources by categories and then you want to select United States and then you want to select here from the go to category you want to select from the drop down menu the industry category that corresponds to your business and then over here on this side it's going to tell you the best uh, websites to be listed for your business you don't have to be listing all of this because that means you have to manage all of this but you know pick pick at least five of those um, and then as you go with the business you can keep adding some more you don't you don't need to have um, multiple you know hundreds or dozens of pages um, in order to rank up higher but at least you know five to ten uh, because again remember you got to manage this one so or somebody or your staff so them the more you have, the more complicated it's going to be, and not, it's not really necessary uh, to be listing all of those to dominate in Google. All right, so I hope this information helped you. As I mentioned before, I have a special bonus for you. If you are a small business owner here in the county or counties around Solano County that um, have been struggling with maintaining an online presence or managing an online presence, or you've been hearing complaints from clients saying that they see their, they, they found the wrong information and they ended up somewhere else or calling the wrong places, or they ended up getting there because the business hours were not updated. Or if you get complaints from clients saying it's hard to find you online or your competitor is coming up online instead of you, um, then what I will recommend you, what I can do for you is you can come to my website, you can complete the form over here about your business and then click on get my free report. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get an email and I'm going to use that information to use it to put a report together for you, a report analysis that is going to show us, okay, what could be what is the root cause of those issues that I just mentioned, right? And then from there, perhaps provide some recommendations of what can be done to fix those issues and help you create a better experience for your customers to be able to find you online. All right, hope that it helped. Um, if you have questions, my, my website has the uh, my cell phone and my email. And if you go to the bottom, it has my social media. And um, look forward to talking to you soon. Uh, by the way, if you have a question for you, if you know of a site that you will recommend, um, please let us know, right? Post it below. Um, share it with other business owners. Um, and um, again, look forward to talking to you soon. All right, bye.